Okay, so let's turn our attention to stubbing in our top network. So PDG is basically utilized through top nodes, all right? So let's take a look at how to get all this stuff up and running inside of Houdini. All right, so let's get started with our top network, all right? Or our HDA that has a top network inside of it. So make sure you are in your intro to PG, PDG hip file, okay? And let's start this out by dropping down a subnetwork, okay? We're going to make this more of a compound HDA. All right, so I'm going to call this uh, the PDG landscape, or IP PDG landscape. There we go. Cool. So inside of here, we can go and create a bunch of different type of networks now. So the subnetwork really just kind of holds uh, a bunch of other networks, usually, you know, things like geometry nodes, and in this case, a top network. All right, and I'm actually going to utilize both those. Okay, so what I want to do in this geo node, I'm just going to call it null. And in fact, you don't necessarily need to do this. I was going to go and just call this null, uh, like so. And then inside of there, drop down a null node. All right, so you don't necessarily need to do that. You can put, just start typing out null and just create one, like so. That works just fine as well. Okay. And I think I'm going to leave that there like that. So now we have no one and I'm going to change the look of this by hitting Z on the keyboard and I'm going to change it to, I don't know, something like that. All right. So this is just going to be there. So at least the PDG network produces, you know, a null value if there's no geometry being produced. Okay. So inside of our top network, so we're going to call this our landscape pipeline. All right. Because top networks are a pipeline. What they do is they basically can consolidate steps. So each time we go and create an HDA or Houdini digital asset, we're creating a step in our pipeline. All right. And we, what we want to do is we want to pass, you know, the results from each step down to the next step. And that is what PDG helps us with. And we construct those pipelines with top nodes. Okay. So inside of our top network here, let's talk about a couple of things. All right. So we have this local scheduler. This allows us to, or this, basically controls or conducts how the pipeline is executed. All right, if, in a very basic way. It, it basically controls events and it's firing off how the nodes and controlling um, how the nodes and managing how all the data is flowing. So this local scheduler is required. Okay, so what we wanna do is we also want to expose this working directory. Okay, because we always want to point PDG to where the location of all of our HDAs are because without the HDAs then our top network wouldn't actually execute They wouldn't have any way of knowing how to process the data So this is a very important concept here So let's go and open up the type properties or actually we need to turn this into a digital asset first So let's right click on the IP PDG landscape node here and say create digital asset all right, and then let's go and I'm going to capitalize these guys just because that's what I usually do. All right, there we go. And I want to put this into my project folder. So I'm going to select the little file browser here, go to job, and then go to HDA, and I'm going to save it right here. All right, this is basically the only HDA that we're ever going to need to bring into Unity, which is one reason why I really like using uh, PDG for the Houdini engine because I don't have to be constantly dragging and dropping a ton of HDAs around. So I'm going to hit apply and accept. And with that, we now have our HDA. So what we can do with this is we can actually expose this working directory right here to the top of our HDA. So let's open up the type properties for the HDA. Now I'm not going to really talk too much about constructing HDAs in this particular course because it's more of an intermediate course and I, I really want to just talk about you know, PDG in general. Okay, so uh, let's go and expose our working directory to this type property. So I highly recommend getting, you know, a little bit more if you're, if you're not familiar with HDAs, just uh, I would take a couple of beginner courses. Uh, the racetrack course is a great course from IndiePixel. Um, you could also take the ammo crate course. Uh, I have tons and tons of uh, videos up on YouTube. So Highly recommend checking those out. All right, so let's go and just drag and drop this working directory into our HDA. And I'm gonna actually leave everything at default here, which is great, okay? And let's actually put it into a folder and we'll call this um, core, 
All right. There we go. I'm going to hit apply and accept. So now we have that linked up to our property up here, or parameter up here. Cool. So this will allow us to literally change the working directory inside of Unity as well. So let's do one more thing. I want to go in here and let's go and drop down something like a wedge node. All right. And really all I'm doing is I just want to show you guys how to uh, utilize the asset link in the next lecture. So I'm dropping down a node so it'll show up inside of Unity. So I'm going to call this my wedge for now. All right. <laughs> I know it's a funny name. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, uh, and then I'm going to drop down a null node and we'll just uh, colorize this. I usually do this like so. We'll say pipeline end. There we go. Very cool. Okay, so with that, we are good to go. So I am going to just save the node type. And in the next lecture, we're going to go and test it out inside of Unity. Now, it's not going to do anything currently, but what we're going to do is just get everything hooked up to the asset link. Okay, thanks so much.